Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case Traveling Time, Case 19, Fake News. Okay, let's a lot Chapter 2 and another another security guard that is asking us to go to a restricted area. Hey, you two, you need to get your bus to Sector 7. Sector 7? Yeah, genius, you know, the restricted area. Right, we're going there. Sorry sir, we're new here, we don't know all the sectors yet. Well, Sector 7 is where they force people to watch fake news when they have missed the quota of viewing hours mandatory for all good citizens. Explaining this to you, Rokis is wasting precious time. There was an unauthorized entry in Sector 7 earlier today. Go check it out. Right away. The Sector 7 place sounds really weird, Katrina. People are being re-educated for not watching enough TV? Yeah, wow. But you're right. An unauthorized agent to a restricted area in the building on the same day a murder took place. Way to hurry to Sector 7. Okay. The last thing I need is that you are doing some sort of brainwashing in that room. We TV if you don't watch the news. Wow. Well, if they are doing that, and then all citizens might know that we are criminals. Yeah, I, I thought those were the capsules of some sort. Well, they are, but they're not capsules for space capsules. That, that's what I meant. are being locked in and forcing to do to watch TV. A lot more it looks like one of the very cool gaming areas where you can where you can play games and also record and no the no outside sound would bother you when you edit a video. Which is what bothers me every time I edit. I hate every vibration I find I find in the video. And if you want to know, those migrations are cars. And now that I'm talking, I'm not focusing enough. But there isn't much space in those. Cashos. There's no space for, for example, this microphone I'm using because I... Yeah, if you hear that, that's a car outside. Ugh! And I not see you there. I don't want to touch him. I'm not touching the scorpion, even though it's the scorpion is my zodiac side. Wow, Katria. This place is super creepy. Those obelis obelisks have seats and screens in them. There's a command center. I guess that's how they force people to watch Sphinx news. We better find out if this place has something to do with the Muro Tabu Kebu. Good call, Katiga. The lock tower might be able to fill in some blanks for us. You need to get it unlocked. Now, what's a bottle of champagne doing here? Oh, it was a gift from the victim. But to whom? I'll grab you a dusting. Ah! That's... That's a scorpion, and it's alive! Do you think that it could be the source of the venom? It is turquoise colored. You're right, there's something good as scorpion. I'll let you get a sample of that, Katarina, while I, um, go hide. Uh, okay, I'm doing every everything here and including the dangerous stuff that you don't touch. Uh, how are you gonna stay still, man? Watch out for the tail! Well, that was a guess. And less dangerous guesses. You gotta stop all that sausage from the scorpion's back, Katarina. You're still alive, so I guess it doesn't have any more venom, right? Right? Could be. Well, we better get that sample to Theo. 
And I guess you're right, we shouldn't leave this creepy little guy here on his own. Maybe giants would like to look after him. Well, I'm not going to. I'm not treating any scorpions anymore. No more scorpions. Alright, the tablet now. Who are you? Patient file? Oh, you must be one of the guys going inside. Who is that on the tablet? There's no name, just a number. Could he be one of the people being re-educated? If we're going to find out who this guy is, we need to get into the database of this re-education center, Katarina. <coughs> yeah, I hate to see how he's going to act like. If he was already inside one of those obelisks. So, I will give that champagne to a certain Anka. And he wrote, Always a pleasure working with you. I wonder who this Anka might be. I'm Anka Waj, and I'm the boss here. I'd like to know why two security goons are loitering in the restricted area. We're security guards, we have access to everything. We simply have some questions about Tabu Kebu, Miss Watch. They won't take long. Oh, I don't like her. Okay, now let's identify who is this guy. He also has, has the red spots. Oh, the eyes. He looks very sleep bleary. Must be caused by what they are doing here. Moss Burgs. Turns out the guy on that tablet is a subject. His name is Moss Burgs. Oh, check this out. Mr. Burgs has been picked up repeatedly for re education. And his file says that he has an obsession with the victim. It also says that he has a re-education session scheduled today. Let's go find this Mr. Burroughs and see what he has to say. Okay. Looks very excited. In a creepy way. Alright, we're gonna go have a chat with Anka first. So, you're the boss of the re-education center? I am. Please excuse my earlier reaction, but this is a restricted area. I must be vigilant. Besides, we are all a bit shaken up by Tabus's murder. It's such a loss for Sphinx News at a re-education center. Meeting Tabu in real life was a reward for subjects who completed their re-education. A brilliant suggestion on his part. Tabu became a brother figure for many of the subjects, and meeting him in person was almost like meeting Rouses the 43rd himself. You see, the program can be an intense experience for those who have not seen enough Sphinx news. I don't think I want to know the rest of it. Even though the relaxation parts are quite comfortable, being extracted from one's normal routine and shut away from friends and family can be stressful for some. I'd rather do something else than watch the news while I'm locked up inside. Some chicks sometimes complain of dry eyes because they watch so many hours in a row, but I admit to hydrating microbeads every hour. It's all quite humane. I'm sure it is. Well, thank you for your explanations, Miss Watch. We may have more questions for you as our investigation continues. Hmm. Okay, now let's see what those things things have done to him. 
Miles Burks, you're a subject here, right? Yes, I have been to re-education more than all the other subjects in the program. And what exactly do you do in the program? We watch Sphinx News, of course. All day. We subjects must do so to re-educate our minds. Uh huh. I love it. I live my viewing hours at home on purpose to be sent here more often. My best days are spent sitting in a pod here, surrounded by the glory of the Tommies without interruption. Tapu was my favorite anchor. He was a great friend of the people because he always told them the truth. But Sphinx still said he was killed. I'm so sad. Mr. Brooks, you seem like a big fan. Did you ever meet Mr. Kemp personally? No, and thanks to that stupid killer, I never will. But I promise to help you find the killer any way I can. The enemy of Tabu is my enemy. Unless it's you. <laughs> is that slimy substance a part of the venom? Katria, is it true that you took this sample from a live scorpion? How did you do it? Uh, I re... I... I just, uh, I just made sure that I don't touch his tail. I pulled it up and with, uh, with one hand and the other hand I just took the drop thing and extracted it. There, easy. Very carefully, but Katarina is a pro. I would have been terrified. And so was I, a jack. Speaking of which, did Janice check if the Scorpio still had Venom? Not a drop, so given its location, coloring, and lack of Venom, that Scorpio was a murder weapon. And the sauces on its back, what the heck was that? The sample was a mixture of tuna and catnip oil. This particular combination is found in bass treats. Modern worshippers of the Egyptian goddess Basset always keep these treats on hand to give to any cat they see. Oh yeah, Basset is one of the cat-headed goddesses. Gotta keep her at peace, I guess. Or risk an unhappy home life, yes. At any rate, since the killer left Basset on the murder weapon, they clearly worship Basset. I guess this cat worshipping killer will need to start a piece of the god of happy incarceration soon. All jokes aside, I'd kind of like to get out of the vicinity of that Scorpio Katrina. Let's get back to the park and look for more clues. Yeah, I don't want to see any more scorpions in this case. No more scorpions. Yes, yes, I know. I bought the magnifying glass. It went better when I had the magnifying glass, so only 12 seconds left. What's this store photo doing in Central Park? Piece it together as quickly as you can, Katarina. And if you think those leaves might be hiding something crucial to the investigation of Tabo Kevus's murder, have at them. Okay. Okay, let's search through. Please, no more scorpions. And 
old version oldest version of the phone and why does it have a crack on the screen the funny find those laser rocks looks like a burner can we know that both the victim and the cure came to this spark it's a lock shot but this burner phone could be a clue let's get it to kai okay We want to send a message from a burner phone. Oh, double cable, but but Tabal Lawrence put her. Cross the table okay, canvas's name and put hers face. Oh, so you weren't happy with him. Is that a college of Taba Lawrence's head glued onto cat table canvas's body? Sorry, Katria. I know professional jealousy can be a serious motive. Looks like Taba Lawrence wanted Tabas' job as lead anchor. Let's go confront Miss Lawrence with this fine artwork of hers. Okay, jealousy. Let's have a chat with her. Miss Lauren, we found your clever college. Looks like you wanted Tabu Kewis's lead anchor position. Who wouldn't? Besides, that lead anchor position always should have been mine. Tabu hogged the limelight, and he went out of his way to make sure that I wasn't taken seriously at Sphinx News. He always made sure that I'd be out of the building, covering some stupid sports game or newborn hippos or whatever. My pet Scorpio cared more about my career than Tabo ever did. But, my bastard, I have fans. They know I'm smart. I know hieroglyphics and stuff. They know I'm a real journalist. Now I'll be the face of Sphinx News and Tabo won't be able to stop me. Sounds like serious motive, Miss Lauren. You better not have brought your pet to work today. <laughs> Good one. What or what was on this phone? Hey, Katria. Even with the broken screen, I still managed to get data from that phone. Of course, we have a knack for making anything complicated seem easy. How are things with Zara and Tio, for instance? Just fine, we will catch you up on Ephesus with my fa favorite telenovela to get a renowned downtime. Anyway, turns out Sirius was using that phone you found. Oh, I somehow assumed it was going to be him. And get this, Sirius sent a ton of messages to Resistance members complaining about the victim. Apparently, he didn't trust Tabu Kevin one bit. He thought Tabu was a Tabi stooge. Hmm, and what are the odds? He f we find Sirius of phone toss the day Tabu Kebu is murdered. What if Sirius took drastic measures to keep the resistance safe from a potential spy? We better talk to him, Katarina. And you still let us go to him. Sirius, we found your burner phone at the park. From the looks of the messages you sent, you didn't trust Tabu Kebu one bit. May bastard take me, those messages were encrypted. No one should have been able to read them. Bastard, you worship cats. That's very odd for someone who works against the Ptolemies. I worship cats out of historical interest, nothing more. Uh-huh, so what did Tabu Kebu do to break your trust? Isn't it obvious? He was too close to the Ptolemies. I'd trust my pet Scorpio before I would have trusted Tabu. Isabel thought he was a valuable source of intelligence, but what if he exposed the whole movement? He wasn't worth the risk. Once he had to leave in the middle of a hieroglyphics lesson, he said that he was late for an appointment in the re-education center. Anyone who would work with those monsters could never be trusted by the resistance. I'm no killer, Katria, but Tabu's death was a boon to the whole resistance. Later? 
Sock Trida. Eliza, who poisoned Double Kebu and why? Well, his colleague wanted his job, and we've seen people kill for less than professional jealousy. She seems to be the only person who walked with him that, that had a grooge, though. Aka Watch, who runs the re-education center, adored him. The re-education center, so Sirius was right. Tabu really was involved in this. I was hoping it wasn't true. Yes, we know that Sirius has strong feelings against Tabu, but hopefully he didn't take action on them. Katria, you've got to see this. Savaluni has taken over the Sphinx and News Airways. And he's ranting against Tabu Kebo. Oh, we know him. We already met him. So something tells me he wasn't he wasn't happy. Wait, what's going on? Oh, I'm having a glitch. What just happened? Anyway, we're gonna stop here. We got to see playing in chapter 3. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like to this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!